ADF rebels smoke photo one students of Lubiria Secondary School to death. On Friday at 11.30 p.m., it was June 17, 2023, suspected ADF rebels made a surprise attack on Lubiria Secondary School in Impondo Town Council, Kasasa District, and smoked to death over photo one students using petrol. The students were suffocated in locked dormitories until they succumbed to death. The victims included students, one guard and two members of the local community who were killed outside the school. Place attack, loot and kill. And they don't only stop in attacking, looting and killing, but sometimes they even attack the FRDC positions. In most cases when they get a weak position, they will attack. And once they attack, they get that opportunity to get guns and to get those uniforms. Employments, yes, that's tactical. That's also operational for us at our levels. But we believe that uh, at uh, an opportune time, uh, we shall make necessary deployments, which I think safeguards the positions of the, the civilians who go cultivating in all these areas, giving, giving them security and route and strategic areas where we, we can deploy them. Yes, that we shall effect. When and how, that remains a, an issue that we shall do ourselves. According to information from the school administration, the school had 63 students in the boarding section. The incident occurred shortly after the students had returned from evening preps. Mary Musoki, a teacher at the school, said the gunmen, who also carried other killer objects, first stormed the school director's home and demanded money from his wife, who was alone at the time. They slapped using horse, hammers, and so any, and any kind of equipment, but I could hear the, uh, the, the alarm see, of the students uh, crying, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Shortly after they stormed the male and female dormitories, cutting the victims into pieces and shooting them, they later set a section of the school block on fire. Despite the death toll, eight students were injured and were nursing injuries at Buera Hospital while the other three were rescued, alive and six kidnapped. The UPDF and the police remained steady first on pursuing the suspected rebels towards DRC's Virunga National Park, Africa's oldest and largest national park, which is home to rare species including mountain gorillas. Authorities blamed the massacre at Lubiria Secondary School on the Allied Democratic Forces, ADF rebels, a shadow extremist group which has been launching attacks for years from bases in volatile eastern DRC. Villagers in the Congolese provinces of Ituri and North Kivu have been the victims of the group's alleged attacks in recent years. But attacks on the Ugandan side of the border are rare, thanks in part to the presence of an Alpine brigade of Ugandan troops in the region. Why? They would want to go and work in Congo, but they fear for the security and in terms of roads. I told them, no, the roads are now secure from Beni up to Butembo, from Beni up to Kasindi, so they can as well go and do business. I explained to them the reason as to why the government of Uganda, particularly the president of Uganda, has been constructing the road from Kasindi to Beni, Beni to Butembo, and eventually to Kisangani. So I told them the UPDF protects those roads. And if the UPDF protects those roads, that means it is free for Ugandans to travel on that road, to do business, and do it in a very safe way. The attack sent shockwaves in this normally peaceful East African country, whose leader cites security as a strength of the ruling NREM government. The attack to many political and security analysts was a blow to the country's armed forces, who since 2021 have deployed in parts of Eastern Congo under a mission specifically to hunt down the militants accused of attacking a school. According to Operation Shuja Commander, Major General D. Kolum, the rebels had spent two nights in Kasese before carrying out their attack. In our part two, we look at police starting DNA test on the burnt students of Liberia Secondary School in Kasese District. On June 26, police started conducting DNA tests on the bodies of the smoked students to establish their rightful paternal correlations before they could hand the bodies to their respective parents. However, parents of Lubira Secondary School, who 
whose children could have been abducted or killed by suspected ADF rebels had started decrying the delay in the release of the DNA results of their children. Despite the delays, 17 bodies were burnt beyond recognition, but government was optimistic that they would find their rightful parents once the tests are concluded of claimants. So that those ones who have marched, they can take the bodies, and those ones who have not yet marched, we shall take uh, samples again from uh, other relatives. DNA is the hereditary materials in humans and almost all other organisms. Positive test results confirm relationships between children and parents and other skins. However, parents and relatives whose samples had been taken for DNA tests on June 18, 2023, said had not yet received results. Among the, the people who had the mother, my child was not there. And uh, those who are in Fort Porto for DNA, I don't expect her to be there because I had their boys, the hostel which was banned was the hostel. Many of the parents who lost their children got positive DNA tests on bodies of their children were handed over to them for burial. Government provided five million to each parent to facilitate funeral and the burial of their children save for the two whose DNA never marched to date, and they were buried in a cemetery of Uganda prisons in Kasa district. In our part three of our special broadcast on the ADF murders in Western Uganda, we look at the suspected ADF rebels that killed tourists and a driver in Queen Elizabeth National Park. In another shocking development on the ADF murders in Kasa district, three months after the killing of Futuan students on October 17, 2023, armed assailants, again believed to be ADF rebels, launched an attack on tourists who were on a trek with the Gorillas Wildlife Safari Company in Queen Elizabeth National Park, Kasa district. According to reports, the rebels, whose number was yet to be established, killed two foreign tourists, their driver, and set two cars on fire. The incident occurred between Lake Nyamunoka and Kabatoro. Police confirmed the development, describing the incident as cowardly tourist attack on two foreign tourists and a Ugandan in Queen Elizabeth National Park. The three were killed under their safari vehicle band. The joint forces of the UPDF and Uganda Police Force responded immediately upon receiving the information and aggressively pursued the suspected ADF rebels. The incident came barely a week after the ADF rebels had attacked a truck which was carrying onions to Mpondwe, killed two people and set the truck on fire. These Congo-based rebel group have attacked Uganda on several occasions, butchered people and planted bombs that have also claimed Ugandans. In part four of our extensive broadcast on the ADF murders in Western Uganda, we look at the ADF commander Njovu, who masterminded the killing of tourists, guide, arrested, charged and remanded. ADF rebel commander Rashid Abdul Kyoto, alias Njovu, was arrested in an operation by the UPDF Marine Forces on Lake Edward. Two of his associates were shot dead and others managed to escape in a boat with their weapons. He was then detained by the military and produced in court on Monday 31st, November 2023 to face justice. The Nakoa Chief Magistrate's Court, Magistrate Arias Kakoza, charged and sent on remand, the notorious ADF rebel commander Abdul Rashid Kyoto alias Njovu for his role in the murder of two foreign tourists and a tour guide in Queen Elizabeth National Park in October and further for the attacks that resulted in the death of five innocent civilians. Njovu, who also goes by the alias of Tembo, was the commander of Camp Mwalika in DRC and formerly a resident of Suni village, Liyama sub-county in Budaka district. 
Kyoto alias in Jobu and others still at large are accused of having carried out the attack on October 17, 2023 at Nyamunuka along Katunguru Katwe Kabatoro Road within Queen Elizabeth National Park in Kasa District for purposes of influencing government or intimidating the public and for political and religious, social or economic aims indiscriminately without due regard to the safety of others or property, thus causing the death of Balo David James, Gayar Emeritia Cecilia and Eric Aliai, who were civilians not engaged in armed conflict. He is also accused of murder, contrary to section 188 and 189, and aggravated robbery, contrary to sections 285 and 286, close to of the Panel Code Act. In part five of our extensive broadcast, we look at the ADF militants with the ties to the Islamic State group that killed 10 people in Kamwenge district. On December 19th, 2023, in Kamwenge district, Western Uganda, the suspected ADF militants with links to the Islamic State group killed 10 people. Four of their victims were attacked in a bar at Ketu Hurizi trading center in Kyabandara Parish, Kamwenge sub-county. Four bodies were burned in the structure that housed a shop and a restaurant. And six other victims who were found guarding a maze farm and were hacked to death by the assailants, suspected to be members of the Allied Democratic Forces militants. Among the deceased was a female councillor of Kyabandara Parish, only identified as Knight, according to locals. <laughs> Community to be calm and be vigilant and be strictly conscious. When you see someone you don't understand, you alert police or leaders. The assailants also burned a store of cereals. This came days after President Museveni said on December 13th that at least 200 members of the Allied Democratic Forces ADF rebels affiliated to the Islamic State group had been killed in airstrikes led by Uganda in September in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Originally Ugandan rebels with a Muslim majority, the ADF have been active since mid-1990s in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, where they have killed thousands of civilians. In 2019, they pledged allegiance to the Islamic State group which now claims some of their actions and presents them as its Central African province affiliate. In part six of uh, the ADF murders in Western Uganda, we look at the Christmas Eve ADF fresh attacks in Kamwenge. Three people were killed. On the 24th of December, suspected Allied Democratic Forces ADF rebels again carried out a deadly attack in Nyabitutsi village, Wusinge Parish, Kamwenge sub-county, Kamwenge district, killing three people. The assault occurred on Christmas night, resulting in the tragic death of three individuals. Kamwenge Residence District Commissioner Isaiah Kanya Mahene Biarugawa confirmed the incident, stating that the attackers raided a house in the village setting it ablaze. The victims of the attack were identified as Adrin Nguavije, 78, and her two grandchildren. Religious leaders condemned the attack. The assailants not only caused loss of life, but also made off with 10 goats and five cows. The security situation in the affected areas remains tense and efforts are underway to apprehend those responsible for the attack.